Hello and welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary and you're watching Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. A special news reel today is sponsored by Jaipur-based Sonali Group. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude futures dropped on Friday as rising U.S. crude stockpiles depressed sentiment despite widespread expectations that OPEC and Russia would agree to some form of production cut this week. Brent finished at $58.71, a fall of $0.80 cents per barrel, while WTI crude finished at $50.93, a drop of $0.52 cents per barrel. On Monday morning, crude futures surged 5% in intraday trade after the United States and China agreed to a 90-day truce in their trade war. According to Vandana Hari of Vanda Insights, Crude futures had jumped by $2 per barrel at Monday's start of trading in Asia amid a broad rally across the energy and metals commodities complexes as well as the regional stock markets. As news of the US and China calling a ceasefire in their tariff war brought back some investor risk appetite. Open spec NAFTA prices meanwhile gained by US dollars per metric ton to the US$485 dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Ethylene prices in Asia plunged last week. Prices fell on the back of a decline in upstream crude in NAFTA rates on the one hand, coupled with a slide in the downstream PE prices on the other. Also supporting the price fall was ample availability and lackluster buying. CFR Northeast Asia prices were assessed down at the 970 US dollars per metric ton levels, a week-on-week -week tumble of 75 US dollars per metric ton. CFR Southeast Asia prices of ethylene were assessed lower at the 900 US dollars per metric ton mark, a steep drop of 60 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. Propylene prices in Asia last week fell sharply. The sharp price fall came on the back of extremely dull regional buying trends, softer crude and NAFTA rates, ample supply, and sliding downstream prices of PP. CFR China prices of propylene were assessed down at the 870 US dollars per metric ton levels, a week on week tumble of 45 US dollars per metric ton. FOB Korea prices of propylene were assessed lower at the 830 US dollars per metric ton levels, a sharp fall of 40 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today, on December 3rd, 2018. LTPE prices are higher by 85 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 8,815 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are higher by 166 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 8,784 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are up by 130 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 6,495 RMB per metric ton. Polymer Update has introduced news and price analysis on Amazon Alexa Virtual Assistant using Echo and other devices. The platform lets subscribers check latest news and prices just by asking Echo or any other Alexa enabled device. This is the first of its kind on Amazon Alexa, so do read the kind of questions that you can ask to Amazon Alexa about Polymer Update. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Jaipur based Sonali Group, a manufacturer of film master batches. PP and PE and talc based color master batches, additive master batches, modifier, black and white master batches, and special master batches. That's all for today's follower news. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Monday, December 3rd. I am Suman Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash polymer update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at polymer update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.